Point Marine Conservation Center. I am Dr. Zalokas, and I'm so pleased to have you joining us today as we learn about all the amazing conservation efforts happening here with the animals in our care, both here at the center and over the preserve. Now, they all play an active role, and we consider them to be partners with us. More about that in a bit, but right now, I'd like to introduce to you all one of the sea lions that calls the preserve his home, and Seymour! I'm certain. All right, he's on his way out. We'll see him in just a moment. Now, sea lions can be found living up and down the Pacific West Coast of North America. They weigh anywhere from a couple of hundred pounds to over 1,000 pounds when they're full grown. Now, oh, there he is. How do you do about it? This is Seymour. Now, Seymour is an adolescent male sea lion. And he is only about five years old. Can you go out and say hello to everybody? Okay, very good, Seymour. Outstanding. Now, like I said, Seymour is still growing. So he still has a long way to go before he's a fully grown adult male sea lion. He only weighs about 200 pounds right now. He probably will be well over 500 pounds. We'll see more Seymour and his friends a little bit later. But right now... I'm supposed to be meeting that new intern. Wait, I'm here. I'm here. Ow. Hi, it's my first day, so I am late. I'm reporting for duty. Of course you must be Neutron. I've been expecting you. I am Dr. Zellophis. Nice to meet you, Dr. Zalotitis. Uh, it's Zellophis. That's what I said. Now, Neutron, I know it's your first day, but I have a very big job for you. I have big plans for you, young man. And it all revolves around this. This is the plan for the tour for all of these people. It's the only copy I have, so I'm going to entrust it into your care to make sure that nothing happens to it. All right, you can do this, Neutron. Deep breaths, deep breaths. You can count on me, sir. I knew I could, Neutron. Now, I have to go check the preserve, but, uh, oh, uh, one more thing. Just don't touch anything, but whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that plan. Oh, uh, don't worry about me, Dr. Zucchini. I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to look around. Wow, this place is huge. It reminds me of my old high school. You guys want to know what you're doing on the tour? Yeah, all right. You guys get to meet a really big animal. It's really impressive. Oh, what was that? Hey, what's that noise? I don't know. I was minding my own Whoa! 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 Oh, no. Turn that off! Oh, okay, I got it. I'll leave you put this thing. Hold on. No, yeah, the other one. Nope, nope. That sure was a close one, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, the baby! <laughs> Ma'am, really, you can't be mad at me. It says soap stone right behind your chair right there, buddy. Clearly. All right. Listen, we'll get that cleaned up. Don't worry. Uh, we'll continue on the tour. Uh, no, try I'll be right down. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to oh. You guys, I'm so embarrassed. It's my first day, and I'm just really excited. But I'm nervous I'm going to mess something up. And when I get nervous, I ramble. And when I ramble, I, I'm rambling. Okay. It's always been my dream to do something to help the environment. Oh, I cute audit. Oh, wait. Hey, wait a second. I need that. Oh, uh, hey, Neutron, what's all the hubbub out here? Nothing. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm just going over your plan. Oh, well, that's great to hear. Uh, but listen, speaking of the plan, why don't you just take a look and tell me what's next? Take a look at the plan. Um, <laughs> yes, I would love to tell you what's next. Um, otters. Otters? Otters? Really? Yeah. Hmm. I thought that was later in the day, but I guess if that's what the plan says, then that's what we should do, right? if uh, Opie Otter might be ready to come out and join us. And maybe Opie Otter's friend, Valerie. Everybody say hi, Valerie. Hi, Valerie. And let's see, here's Opie Otter. Aww. Now, Opie Otter is a full-grown Asian small clawed otter. Now, Asian small clawed otters are the smallest of all 13 species of otters. Now, they have tiny... 
tiny little web feet that are really good for swimming through the water. You can look at that diagram. You're very good, Neutron. You're very observant. Yeah. Uh, now, those little webbed feet are also very good for grasping and carrying objects. Like the plant on the floor. What? Nothing. Alright, now, look at this nice wave from OPL. Let's have a nice round of applause for Valerie. Wait, what? What I'm saying is otters are considered mischievous. Oh, well, actually, that is quite true, Neutron. They are considered to be quite mischievous by some people, but here at the center, we love them. In fact, they're even on the protected species plan, and that's why we're here at the center, to help them to continue to thrive and survive. Hold on, hold on. So what he's saying is we all Otter do our part to protect them. <laughs> but, uh, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks. Mixing learning with uh, humor. Fascinating. Don't do that again, Neutron. But what I do need you to do is run off, try to find Clyde, see if you'd like to come out and help me with the next leg of the tour. Yes, sir. All right. Now, folks, here at the center, we've been studying the food sourcing and the eating behaviors of the animals in our care. This, in turn, helps us to better understand how to help support wild populations. So tell me, I need to find a young volunteer who would like to come down and help me out. A young volunteer who might have a mask that they could have on. I need a young volunteer with a mask. Is there anybody? How about right up there in the blue shirt? Come on down. How you doing? What's your name? Say it again. Bellina. Nice to meet you, Bellina. Now, um, now, Bellina. Now, sea lions eat a wide variety of fish. All right. Now, these fish are packed with nutrients, and it's worth Clyde and sea. Oh, there's Clyde. Speaking of Clyde, there's Clyde right there. Look. Ooh. Here, sit back here, Bellina. Right over here. Now this is where they get all their strength and energy. Would you like to give Clyde this fish? All right, take this fish and just throw it up into his, throw it up there. Good job, and you give me one more. Throw it up there, Bellina. Nicely done. Now, Bellina, we're gonna head down this way. We're gonna set you up so your group can get a nice picture of you with Clyde. Clyde's gonna jump up on the glass, good job. Now, Bellina, you can turn around right here. You gotta put your mask up, sweetie, all the way up over you. They're gonna turn around. Wave at your group. You can either smile or frown. Go ahead and wave, Bellina. Wave. <laughs> All right, and you can frown or smile. Doesn't matter. Good job. Let's have a nice round of applause for Bellina. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Zaxby's. I cannot find five. I mean, oh. I got him. He's right yeah, uh, really good job, Neutron. But uh, listen, it's time to start testing your pen knowledge. So, question number one is, how tall do you say sea lions are? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know, probably like three or four feet. Well, you might want to check again, Neutron. Yeah? Oh, my God. He's huge. That's right. Sea lions can actually grow to an excess of nine feet in length. They're packed with a muscle, which helps them to chase prey and evade predators. They even have the most adorable little toenails on the ends of their flippers that help them to scratch those hard-to-reach spots. Can you see them? Oh, I see them. Yeah. And I can smell them. <laughs> now, sea lions, we found, are also very social animals. In fact, they each have their own personalities and even likes or dislikes. I think he likes hugs. I think you're right, Neutron. That they're also very motivated to interact with us. In fact, they even participate in their own health care. Uh -huh. uh, now, Neutron, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and pull out the plan and let everybody know what's coming up next. Oh, wait. Uh, all right. Let you know what's next on the plan. Um, only problem is, I still don't have the plan. Remember, the otter took it. All right, this is what we'll do. If you guys see the otter, let me know. And then, what? You saw the other one? Where? where? This way? Okay, thank you guys. I'll see if I can catch them. All right, are you guys ready for the best part of the tour? Yeah. All right, now imagine this is the Pacific West Coast of California.
where the sea lions are often observed diving off the high rocks and cliffs, using their giant pectoral flippers to swim through the water and hunt and chase their prey. In just a moment, Seymour is going to join us at the top of the tower and demonstrate these very behaviors. And there he is! All right, Seymour, you're at the top of the tower. Get ready. Catch that fish. And there's one there. And one more. And let's see that dive! Okay! And now, Seymour, show everybody how you swim through the water the way a bird flies through the air. Go ahead, Seymour, swim! Well done, Seymour! Well done, outstanding! You can head back that way. Right back that way. There you go. Good job. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, so, uh, Neutron, Neutron, you're up. Wow. Yeah. So, Neutron, wow. let's, let's see Clyde swim, all right? All right. Clyde, you gotta use your powerful vector flippers, just like Seymour, and show everybody how you use those to swim, buddy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's not exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, he really got you there. Um, you know what? We're about halfway through the tour. Why don't you two take a break? In fact, New Johnny, can you get yourself a complimentary refreshment? Oh, thank you, Dr. Zoloff. Wow, he's always so happy, Clyde. He is so nice. He says we can get a refreshment. Now, Clyde, the kids say the otter's running around back here, so see if you can find that otter for me, all right? I'll be right there with you. Get all the way back here. The otter's over here, buddy. Yep, you just keep going that way. I'll be right there. I'm gonna get a refreshment, all right? Ooh, I am thirsty. It's really hot outside. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice and cold.
Jersey. Never mind. <laughs> I can't believe that worked right. Let's give him a hand, everybody. We want to say thank you. So you're going to get a picture with Clive. Why don't you stand right over here? No, just for you right now. Thank you so much. All right, we'll take a picture. Okay, let's hear from everybody. Nice job. Good job. Nice job. <laughs> He was very nice, but he was not a lot of help. So, we are going to come up with a plan, and I have just the plan. Remember when you were a baby, you learned everything from watching your mom. You just mimicked her behavior. So, let's go back to basics, buddy. All right? You copy my every single move and stay very, very close. Look, Zoe, look. Look. I don't even want to know. Alright, just tell me what is the ruckus. Dr. Zebra Stripes, I have a confession. I lost the plan for the tour. It's gone. Gone? Oh, I see something. Shh, shh. 
me back here and see if I can find anything at all. As far as I can, all the way, I think I feel something. Hey, what's, what's so funny? What? Oh. <laughs> Dude, you forgot to roll up your sleeve. <laughs> Give a nice round of applause to our stage hand. He doesn't know, but it's his last show. Oh, by the way, guess what? He was born in New Jersey. Go figure. Hey, good luck, everybody! I did it! It's the plan! Wow, this is awesome, now let's... Yes! Oh, Dr. Zolofish, you did it! Oh, you got my name right! The whole time. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Thanks, you, John. All right, let's see where we're at. We met Clyde, met Seymour, had our two great volunteers. I see what's next. It's a grand finale! Continue to thrive and survive. Bye-bye!